Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It is Friday night. Y'all know what we do on Friday night. We love to bless the Lord. Hallelujah. We love to bless the Lord. He brought us through another week. He has been good. He has been faithful. My Lord. Thank you, Jesus. My Lord. I'm so happy I came to worship the Lord with us tonight. My God. You could have been anywhere, but you came to worship the Lord with us in spirit and in truth. My Lord. Woo! 
order. You can't be worried about that job. You can't be worried about money not adding up. Because God, I need you. My Lord, it's something about when you really get that in your spirit. It don't ease your mind. I'm trying to tell you, if you really get in your mind that God, I need you, anxiety ain't got no place there no more. Depression ain't got no place there no more. I'm just trying to tell you, rejection ain't got no place there no more. And, and there's no room for these mental illnesses if you put in your mind that God, I need you. I had to tell everything that tried to run up on me this week. I need God. I don't need no medicine. I don't need no doctor. I don't need mama. God, I need you. I got to call out to my father. I had to go back to the prayer in the Bible. Our father who art heaven, you're mine, Jesus. God, I need you. My Lord, I need you, God. I can't worry. I'm not calling nobody.
You have to allow our hearts to be prepared. Because the Bible says, hide your word. Hide his word in your heart so that you don't sin against him. But our heart has to be ready to receive the word of the Lord. Okay, baby, stand on your feet tonight. Close your eyes and spend some affections on the Lord tonight.
get up early in the morning and pray. Oh you won't be sleepy. You won't be tired. It's not going to be easy. Yeah. If you said you want to exercise and then leave, your body is going to get real tired. They're going to make your work extra. You're going to be like, I just should just rest today. God knows my heart. He does know your heart. And he may spread it through this season. But 
there's going to come a time. We're not taking it serious enough. My God. Help us. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. We have to be equipped. And if we cannot say no to the small things of the flesh, that we've been battling with for years. We're going to bow. We're going to bow under pressure. Yeah. My God. My God, fasting is so important. What, I want you to think about this. What are you intentional about in this season? What, what thing in your life has got to die in this season? Is it pride? Is it lust? What is it? Is it gluttony? Is it lying? Is it cheating? Because I realize that we live so loosely. We're intentional about going to work. We're intentional about paying the bill because we don't want the lights off. But are we intentional about working on that inner man? Are we intentional? About working on that inner man, the man yeah. of the heart. Yeah. 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 Have you asked the Lord, shine your flashlight in my heart, Lord? Yeah. Yeah. Some things you don't even need us to shine the flashlight. You know. Uh, 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 Come on. Come on. Me personally, I know I'm always going to be transparent. What I'm wrestling down right now is this food addiction. I'm wrestling that thing down because you got me messed up. Food addiction, gluttony, lust of food, my God. We don't talk about it because we got too many overweight pastors to talk about that. Anybody talk about that? They're trying to have a fish fry. Come on. It's real. Amen. It's real. Many of us are bowing to gluttony. Yeah. Yeah. They got to get a new soup coat every week because their belly's growing. <laughs> it's real. We got to get a new dress every week. Come on. Because we're going up and up and up, but we still say that God is good and He's faithful. Is He good when it comes to dinner time? I'm talking to me. I'm talking to me. Come on. That's a part of your yes. Your body is the temple of God. And when I think about that thing, I had to put it in a different context. I had to go all the way back when I was wrestling down homosexuality. I had to tell the Lord, debunk that thing in my mind. Take, break that thing down. Tell me what it's coming for in my life. Take me to the root of that thing. Yeah. Guess what, y'all? Why we, why we can't fast and why we struggle with food? The first sin in the Bible was the over appetite. The first sin. The, oh, what she put in her mouth. And we still ain't got control over it. The first sin. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The enemy, come on. He deceived her over what she should put in her mouth. Jesus. Come on. <laughs> My God. She knew it wasn't right. She knew it. We still. But after she kept looking at it, it looked good to her. Mm. Come on. The Bible says she looked, it looked beautiful to her. It looked delicious. Mm -hmm. And she looked and she wanted what it would give her. The pleasure. My God. Help up. Somebody was telling me they can't fast because they were diabetic. That's what they told me. They couldn't fast because they were diabetic. But then the very next day they had was ordering a chocolate chip cookies. I said, I'm confused. <laughs> we so deceived. Yeah. Yeah. The thing that we love is killing us. Yeah. Having these diseases, we wouldn't have no high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, if we knew how to eat correctly. Yeah. Baby, I'm wrapping that thing down. You got me messed up. Yeah. You got me messed up. I, I asked the Lord, I was like, God, why am I so angry? Why am I so angry about it? Why? Because I don't have no example. I want to see somebody else be the example for one. My God, tell me how you overcame that chicken that you still wanted. Yeah. My God, yeah. not just one day. We good at doing it one day. Yeah. We might be 
even good at 30 days because we want the results of a small waistline. My gosh. But things get a roll around. People will be mad if you invited them to your house and all you had was lettuce and water. You might get cussed out. It's real. We arguing over food. That Popeye's chicken sandwich came down, honey, and the world went crazy. Come on. to our children. My God. They eat what we eat. Now, they, you better not give them just no fresh fruit. They want some butter on it, some, some sugar on it. Come on, you got to do it. You got to cook it till it ain't got no nutrients in it. <laughs> we condition ourselves in our taste buds right out of the will of God. We got buffets, you see people going back with five, six, seven, eight plates, stacking them on top of each other. Oh, well, I like salads. My God. Children are going crazy. You don't give them some candy, they might fight you. Come on. This thing is real. I don't know about you, but for me, it's intentional. Because it got to come out of my bloodline. I hate that nobody fought that giant before me. I hate it. I hate it. If I got to lay on my kitchen floor and cry, my God, this thing is coming out of me. The Bible says, be you can't go at your own. We're going to talk about real things up in here. I don't have no slap the neighbor message. Because we're we going to be slapping our neighbor right on the hill. Come on. Come on. My God. We have to endure. My yes still has to be yes. As I was going to the grocery store today, I was like, man. I was standing in the fruits and vegetables now. I'm just like, and I was just thinking of all the other things that I wanted. And I had to realize, God, what is it going to cost me, y'all? Lord, recondition my taste buds. Yeah. 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 <laughs> recondition my taste buds. Because it's coming after them if you don't kill it. It's coming after her if you don't kill it. My God. We're being selfish. That's what made me attack homosexuality and wrap that thing down to the ground. Even when I feel like it, even when it would feel productive for me, and even it was, when it would feel good, even when it would feel providing for me, so on and so forth. But I said, you know what? It, it can't come for them. Somebody got to stand up to that. Yeah. It was nice I had to land in this and my God. Jesus, that's how I can tell you. You're going to cry over that cheeseburger that you still want sometimes. I know. It's real. Yeah. That's how you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's where the struggle is. Yeah. We said we struggle. We like, yes, we, I'm struggling. No, you're still eating it. Mm-hmm. When you're not eating it and you want to eat it and you're sitting on your kitchen floor like a newborn baby crying. Oh, God damn. That's you got action. Every demon you don't kill on your bloodline is coming for your babies. I hate gluttony. I hate it. The people of God are so overweight, getting up in pulpits, buying new, bigger dresses. We're not going to talk about it. We rather point at the homosexual. It's still lust. My God, I had a lady who used to pray for me, and she was, and I love her, but she was big. Oh, Lord Jesus. And I always thought to myself, girl, you worry about who I'm laying with, what are you eating at home? We both comforting ourselves out of the will of God. Yeah, yeah. And see, I got real good. See, I tell myself, I'm 
I'm good at maintaining my weight. I can eat cupcakes, cookies, cake, cake pies, baby. I know how to wear a waist trainer, a shaper. I know how to drink me some diet tea coming in the room. I'm going to keep this weight down. Yeah. But that's not dealing with the monster. Yeah. It's not dealing with the appetite. Yeah. My God. You can be delivered from sexual lust, but still that lust of food. My God. Lust of the eye. You ain't, you ain't laying with it, but you just, every time your head just. My God. The Bible says if you look upon a woman. My God. It's the same thing with food. And they want us to lust out. Because that's why they put the commercials on with the burger with the dripping down. Yeah, and the ketchup and they dip it in the kingdom. Come on. You can have a whole food orgasm. It's real. You know, it's real. We got to talk about it. That just was what the Lord wanted to say. That was not even the message, but it's still real. All right, so has anybody ever told you that you're called? There's a calling on your life. Has the Lord called you personal? My God, do you know that there's something that he has for you to do in the kingdom of God? That this message is for you. This message is for you. Ooh. Lord, we thank you for this word on tonight. Yeah. We thank you that we call you holy. Light is God, King of Kings. Write on the tablets of our heart tonight, God. Allow us to hide this word in our hearts so that we don't sin against you, God. Equip us through your word. We don't have enough word in us. We're living loose because we're outside of those boundaries. Speak to us, O great God. Permeate our dark places, God. Send a word of deliverance in this place, God, that takes us over. May our lives never be the same. 2020, clear vision. Clear up our vision, Lord, how we're seeing things, God. Clear up our vision, God, how we're understanding. We want to hear you clearly. We want to see you clearly, God. Lord, we bless you and we honor you in this place. For it is in Jesus' name that I pray, that we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Put your, put your hand on your chest. Say, have your way. Have your way in this place. In this place. Amen. 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 Have your way. 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 Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way in this place, God. Not in this building, but in our hearts, in our minds, God. So that we can carry it out in our actions, God. Renewing us a right mind. Let that mind be in us that is in Christ Jesus. Jesus, remove any veil from our eyes. Unclog our ears that we may hear. My Lord. God is so good. He's so amazing. So I got a question. Come on. Raise your hand if you want to be used by God. Do you yeah. want God to use you? All right. Yep. All right. Amen. I got I got an answer for you. Every problem that you face, and He's using you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Help us! Yeah. Every problem that you're going through, He's using you. Yeah. He's using you. Yeah. Every situation, yeah. every circumstance, yeah. every heartbreak, yeah. every disappointment, yeah. every health issue, yeah. he's using you. Yeah. My Lord, Amen. we're confused. We're confused about being called, y'all. You are called to be his vessel, yeah. to be his instrument, yeah. to be his tool. Yeah. My Lord, you're not called to be his trophy. We confused. We think we just call to stand up here and you know, look good. Make sure you match real nice. Your Bible case match your outfit. Come on. Say a quick word. Come on. Select the offering 
and go home. Baby, that ain't it. That ain't it. That's not it. That's not it. The platform is only produced by the problems and the pain. The platform is produced by the problem and the pain. Everything that you've been through, that is where your ministry lies. Been through an abusive relationship? Yep, you're gonna minister on that. My God, come on, come on. Been through health issues? You're gonna minister on that. My Lord, you allow the Lord to heal you? You're gonna have some oil to lay hands. Come on, my God. Went through mental illness? You're gonna minister on that. My God. Come on, it's the word of the Lord. That is where your platform is produced. We're hearing God wrong. We hear, I'm called of God. We hear, I'm called of God. And we think in our mind, we think, oh, that means a pulpit, a microphone, and we get a leadership position in the church. We get us a good fancy title. Come on, my Lord. No. It's not it. We're going to learn tonight what the call of the Lord is. We are called to every problem and every situation that we are facing right now. That is the call of the Lord upon your life. Every problem that you can't figure out by yourself, you're being called of God. When God is the only solution, that is when you know you're being used of God. You can't figure it out by yourself. Come on. You trying to figure it out. Come on. You done Googling, researching, you done went to West Virginia. Come on. You done went through folklore and old wise tales, remedies, and all of that. You can't figure that thing out. My God. Now, you being used by God. He's calling you. Your situation. Your circumstance, he's, he's calling you. We hear the call to preach. We like, oh, somebody said you got a call to preach, but the Lord tells you personally, I'm calling you as my preacher. I'm anointing you as my preacher. And we think it's time to get a microphone and just hit it. Yeah. Let me tell y'all something. David was anointed at about age 12 to be the king. Hands was laid on him, oil was poured on him from a prophet of God. Sing to tell him you are chosen by God. Among many, they looked apart, the but he chose you. My God, my God, they know what it sounds like. They got, they got church etiquette, but he chose you. My God, but just after he got chosen. Just after he got anointed, he had to go right back to those sheep in the pasture. He didn't go right to the palace. If the Lord anoints you and sends you right to the palace, it'll kill you. Look at Saul. Saul was anointed and made king. And it almost killed him. Matter of fact, in the end, it did. You better let the Lord process you. You gotta let the Lord process you. And I mean for real. Yeah. David, when he was out in that field, come on. Lions was running up on him. Bears was running up on him. He was like lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Come on. But one thing he knew. God was with him. God was with him. See, see that something the Lord spoke to me about a little while back called the black sheep anointing. Because your family don't accept you. You mad because you stand out and you stick out like a sore thumb. That's the anointing of God. Yeah. 
like anyone of the family. They don't, I don't talk like them. I don't, I'm the fat one of the family. I don't dress like, come on, you've been anointed. Yeah. They don't invite me to the church and they don't invite me to the Christmas and they don't let me preach and they don't come on. You've been anointed. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, we're looking at this thing. Yeah. David, he would not have been the king that he was. If he was in his daddy's house, under his father's roof. I learned the protection of the Lord when I left my hometown. I learned how to call on God. They knew how to call on the Lord. His brothers were still under, they still could say, Daddy, I'm short on the bill. Daddy, I'm having a bad dream. Daddy, this ain't going right. David didn't have no way. Come on, it was him and God. He might have talked to the sheep a time or two, but it was him and God. When a thing ran up on him, that's where his singing became anointed. But he was not in the pasture, my God. He was blessing God. He was blessing God. Come on. He had to sing his self to sleep. He didn't have the training of his father. Good. Come on, they didn't train you. Good. The Lord didn't want they filthy paws on you. Your daddy left. Good. Come on, cause you would have been like him. Your mama didn't accept you. Good. Cause you would have been like her. We get mad. We get mad when daddies are walking off. Mama's are walking off. The Lord said, all I needed was the DNA. Come on. I want to reverse the bloodline. Come on. Every single mother. Don't get mad when they walk off. You got to say, good. 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 Come on. Because when they're under that tutelage, they begin to look up to that person. And everything they do is good. Come on. The Lord said, I'm trying to break something off that bloodline. And I need all I needed from him was the DNA. All I needed was the DNA. Come on. Your mama didn't tell you no lessons on life. She didn't teach you how to be a lady. Good. Oh, all he needed was the DNA. When I tell you, that bless me real good. Come on. Come on. It's the black sheep anointing. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be mad about that no more. Hey, listen, I'm anointed for this thing. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. I'm anointed yeah. for this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah. Woo. We hear, we hear, oh, you're going to preach. You're going to preach the word. But we forget that you actually got to have some story when you get up here. Yeah. 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 Against me. 
It's going to be problems that come up against you. Yeah. It's going to be situations. There's persecution with the call. They're not telling us that. You call God, I see God wrapping gold around you. Baby, when somebody told me they seen God wrapping gold around me, I promise it just, my whole inside just turned. Because gold has to be purified through the fire. And if you see that thing being wrapped around me, my God, I'm about to be gold. Oh, <laughs> 
still God. Yeah. He's still God. Yeah. He just moves with you. Yeah. He has to have a testimony like yours. But everybody before you have bowed out gracefully. My God. They want to do it. That's why they throw it all. That's why they look at you. Come on. That's why they got you under scrutiny. Come on. Yeah. My God. They do everything you do. Come on. They wanted to do it, but they didn't have the endurance yeah. to withstand the pressure. Yeah. But look back. Yeah. Look back. Yeah. Look back. Yeah. Look back. Yeah. Everything he's brought you through. Yeah. You think he brought you through all that to Place in here. You have no place 
you're still in oneness, but you might not be talking to him, but you ain't denounced that thing. My Lord. Mm. My God. Mm. It ain't no clear line. I'm over here and you over there. Yeah. It ain't no clear line. There are some things you're still in alliance with. My God. And until you get free, you won't get free. Yeah. Come on. Jesus. My Lord. And the Lord ain't going to do it for you. Oh. He's not doing it for you. Ooh. He's trying to raise your level of boldness. Oh. How you gonna preach if you can't say what he tells you to say? Yeah. You can't go where he tells you to go. Yeah. Cause you people pleasing. Oh Jesus. Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. 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 Oh my God.
It's how you are bringing him glory. It's when they about to foreclose on your house. And you have no idea where you're about to live. My God. Come on. And it's a day before. You got to get out. My God. But you still on your knees. You still saying, God, I trust you. God, I believe your word is true. Lord, you said you never leave me. You said you never forsake me. So even in this, I still believe God. Come on. It really brings the glory. Yeah. Yeah. When you gotta make a stand for righteousness. And it might cost you your job. You might have a gay boss that wants you to call him a woman. And he's a whole man. And if you say another one, you gonna lose your job. My God. This thing is real. That is when you are bringing him glory. Come on. Verse 3. He said to me, you are my servant Israel, and you bring glory to God. Come on. I replied, but my work seems so See, that's, that's how it happens. We start focusing on ourselves. We always thinking about us. I don't have what I need. I know you call me the priest, but I don't have no microphone. I don't know the protocol. I don't have the. I know you call me, but, but as soon as I get this, then I'm going to do it. When you do it this way, then I'm going to bless God. When you give me my new house, then I'm going to bless God. Come on! We done made it about us. But it's okay, because Isaiah made it about him too. But he still brought it on back in the room. He replied, but my work seems so useless. I have spent my strength for nothing and to no purpose. Yet, then, then he had to regulate his own man. Right there, me and thought, my, I promise you, you, if you don't learn how to do this, you will not endure. Yeah. You have to learn how to regulate your own thoughts right in the middle of your own. He, right in the middle, wait a minute, he said, wait a minute. Yet, yeah. yet, yeah. I will leave it all, my God. Ooh, in the Lord's name, I will trust God for my reward. Jesus. Yep, these situations are rough, tight, ugly. But I got yet. Get that yet in your spirit. Yet. Yet. Come on, I will leave it. Ooh, in the Lord's hand. My God. We call to leave it in the Lord's hands. We got to give it back to the Lord. You know, they say you won't put more on you than you can burn. Yeah. The problem is we feel like there will be more because we're carrying in our own strength. Yeah. We ain't learn how to say yes. Yeah. I will leave it in the Lord. We have to learn how to say, Lord, I trust you for my reward. Come on, this situation is not satisfying to me, God. Yeah. But I trust you to be my reward. I trust you to be my satisfaction. Come on. Yeah. My Lord is the word of the Lord. Get off. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you gotta get a cat in. I don't like it. It's uncomfortable. It's ugly. Come on. I will leave it in the hands of the Lord. When we hear the call, oh, somebody says, you are, you a prophet. Mm -hmm. When you hear the call that you call to prophesy, you're called to be a prophet unto the nation. My Lord, we just hear, we hear, ooh, I get to be the mouthpiece of God, the messenger of the Lord. I get to reveal the hearts of people. I get to tell the things that are to come. Come on. I get to shape things with my words. Yeah. We think we get all of that without the prophet. That's witchcraft. That's sorcery. That's what the world does. My God. All these psychics, they ain't nothing but anointed prophets. That's why, they, that's why it's right. That's why it's accurate. But they omit the process. Come on. They omit the process. You have to be pressed out. What prophet you read in the Bible gets the call and then just hit the streets? Come on, baby. Listen, they just have to go through some things. The call is high. Yeah. It's great. The 
depressing is real. Yeah. But it's all God. It's all God. Let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 1 and 5. Ooh, bless your name, God. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Who, who, he said he formed you in your mother's womb. We giving too much credit to these people. Right. Come on, baby. You can, you can lay up and play up all you want to, but if the Lord don't form, Come on. it ain't happening. Okay. So as much as I don't like premarital sex, I don't like it. I hate when children are born out of wedlock. But the Lord said he formed. Yeah. If he don't form it in the womb, it's not going for it. If he form it in the womb, he has purpose. Yeah. Because he said, I'll use that too. I'll use that too. I'll use that too. My God. Come on. Before I formed you in, the, in your mother's womb, before you were born, I set you apart. Apart. And I appointed you as my prophet to the nations. Jesus. Come on, they called getting on Jesus. you. It didn't just hit you when you 25. Yeah. Somebody prophesied over you and told you you were a prophet, baby. The Lord said, I've been one. Yeah. Yeah. In the belly. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. In the belly, I was a prophet. My Lord. Yeah. Oh, sovereign yeah. Lord, I said, I can't speak for you. I am too young. We always make it about ourselves. We always make it about ourselves first. Help us, God. Yeah. We're so selfish. Yeah, yeah. The Bible says in the last days, men will become lovers of themselves. Yeah. Huh. We put our own desires before the will of God. Mm. We put our own wants before the will of God. Let's go back to them cupcakes, y'all. It's not God's desire. But we want it. I know I'm supposed to be fasting. I'm going to start tomorrow. I know it's not good for me. Come on, we, we keep putting ourselves ahead of God. He's not going to bless until we put it in right alignment. You're going to keep struggling with that thing. Don't keep struggling with it. Keep yeah. putting it in the right alignment. Not my will. Not my will, but your will be done. Yes. That means there are two different things going on. If anybody tell you, I want to do the will of God all day, every day, they are telling you a lie. Now, I don't want to go out and kill nobody, cuss nobody, and punch nobody, but I want the cupcakes. I do. But God. Not my will. I want to go shopping sometimes when it's not time to go shopping. Come on. Come on. Not my will. Come on. Sometimes I want to say that extra word. Not my will, but your will be done. Yes. Oh, sovereign Lord, I can't speak for I'm too young. The Lord replied, don't say I'm too young. For you must go wherever I send you, and you must say whatever I tell you. And don't be afraid of the people, for I will be with you and protect you. My Lord. Yes. See, see, you gotta listen. So when you're called, the first attack on the call will be fear. That's why children that are very that have a high calling, they suffer from nightmares. Because if the devil can attack them with fear, my God, he'll choke them their whole life. Their whole life. Jesus. Jesus. Their whole life. Jesus. My God, struggling with fear. And it don't, it, it just keeps going with different things. Then you get 12, and you're scared of a bully at school. That's what stops you. My God. 
Then you get grown and you're scared of the bully at work. My God, and that's what's up. My God. You won't preach the word of the Lord if you're afraid. Now we still do it though. We go to work because we ain't scared to do that. We scared to be in, we scared to be without lights and things, so we go to work. That scared us for some reason. It'll stop us from the work of the Lord. Uh-uh, honey, I can't drive in that rain to church tonight because it is raining terrible. But if we got to go to work. Oh, I can't breathe. I'm going to just take my time. I'm going to leave out early. I got to be at work at 7. It's raining. I'm going to leave out early. Come on. It's real. Girl, it don't stop us from doing things. Sin. It never did. It should have. But fear is a big hindrance to the people of God. But the Lord, the instruction of God. Verse 8, Jeremiah 1 and 8. And don't be afraid of the people. There's going to be something that rises up in you that makes you afraid of the people. My God. For I will be with you and I will protect you. You know what that just told me? Sometimes you're going to get in some situations that your mouth, you're going to have to say something that the Lord tells you to say. You're going to have to go some places that he tells you to go. And you're going to need protection. And it ain't no good. Come on. He said, I will protect you. You're going to get in some dangerous situations for the name of the Lord. But I will protect you. That's what he said, because you mine. Come on. Come on. My name is on you. You marked. They talking about the mark of the beast, but do you know the mark of the Lord? Yes, they're my parents. 
The word of the Lord says, some you must uproot. And then some you gotta tear down. It's the way the things that people are thinking. They don't like, who wants to be tore anything? Over a chair. Tore down? My God! If you're a people pleaser, you won't do it. You won't do it. It's the mindset that the Lord has anointed me to tear down your life. You should get off the chair. It's just a chair. You fight yourself. So you're saying that's just how I am. It's just a chair. Now, y'all, that's how we do it in this family. You just don't understand how we do it. No, you don't understand you out of the will of God. And the Lord has anointed us to tear down mindsets. Tear and hurt. Come on. It doesn't feel good to tell somebody you're saying it wrong. You have built your life around that thing. I was ministering to somebody last week, and by the time we got to turn that thing down, my God, that person was just sitting there. They were shook. Because it wasn't my opinion, it was the word of the Lord. And what they realized is that they had built their life. Brick by brick. On my life. Built her life on a lie. I mean, solid foundation. This is just who I am. I was born like this. But the word of the Lord is anointed to tear down that mindset. You have to be firm in the Lord, strong in the Lord. Unmovable, unshakable. You can't be persuaded by people's feelings. You've been anointed to tear down things. It's gonna hurt. Your words are gonna hurt sometimes. Because the people that you gotta tell them that's not right, they still like it. They love it, but it's not God. If your feelings get in the way. We can't operate on our feelings and be effective in the kingdom. Oh God. As a parent. We can't be effective parents if we operate on feelings. We don't want them to bump their head. We don't want them to see, we don't want them to go without. We'd rather just give them. Just give them, just give them, just give them. They don't have to bump their head. Yeah. But God is it. He anointed them yeah. in the Destroy. 
not one piece of it can be. The whole thing.
must tear down, some he must destroy, some he must overthrow, some he must build up, and some he must plant. Mm. That was just blessing. Yes. That's hard for some of us that don't have patience. Because all you get to do is plant the seed. You don't get to be the water. You planted the seed, but then you see a whole lot of dirt be thrown on top of their life. Come on! Seeds can't grow without dirt. Michelle, seeds can't grow without dirt. Come on! Seeds can't grow without yeah. yeah. dirt. Come on! They can't grow without yeah. it. Come on! Yeah. They can't grow without it. Yeah. You been praying for somebody, but you see their life getting dirtier? Come on! I'm just trying to get Pick up part two on Sunday, so I definitely don't want y'all to miss it. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for this word tonight, God. Yes, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name, oh great God. Hallelujah. We call you King of Kings, Lord yes. of Lords, yes. Mighty God, yes. Wonderful Counselor, yes. Mighty Lion of Judah. Yes. My God. The great protector, yes. the great provider, yes. wonderful is your name. Yes. Emmanuel, God, with us. Yes. Yes. God, we bless you. Thank you. Yes. We bless you, God. We love you on today, oh great God. Yes. We call you faithful, God. We come tonight, Lord, with repentant hearts because we have seen your call wrong. We've seen trouble as a sign or an indicator or something to be worried about. We haven't looked at it. That is where we are being called. Our number has come up. We're being considered. My God. This problem is my consideration. This situation, it won't kill me. I'm being considered. Hey, yeah. I can't let the devil tell me that this is all him and that God ain't got his hand on me. My Lord, oh Jesus, God, I bless you. We thank you that you call us and that you trust us with trouble. My Lord, we are seeing it wrong, God. Ooh, may we not cover, covet a platform or a microphone or, or a stage or a title, God. May we not desire what you don't desire for us. May we not step out of the will by stepping out of season, God. We repent for complaining when you call us to My Lord. this problem. My God, we thank you, God, that you reveal all things in time. Ooh, strengthen us, God, for the journey so that we don't turn back. My God, may we focus on you. Yes. When we focus on the problem, we have taken our eyes off of you, God. Yes, God. Ooh, God, I bless you. Call you holy, God. Yes, God. Call you righteous. Yes. Yes. King of kings. Yes, God. You know all and you see all, God. Yes. Search our hearts. 
Search our motives, God. Purify us afresh tonight, God. As we offer a fresh yes to you, God. Yes to your will. Yes to your way, God. Give us a fresh level of obedience in our heart, God. So that we won't chase after the things of the world. We won't chase after platforms, God. Mm -hmm. We will see our platform as every single day, every problem that you call us to, God. It's not a microphone that we're holding in our hands, but the microphone is echoing in heaven. Every word that we speak, especially in the time of adversity, the time of problems, tough situations, when people are talking about us, God, misusing us, God, we're being used by you. Yes, God. We're being used by you, oh great God. It's not our responsibility to worry about what somebody else does to us, God. May we be steadfast, unmovable, Always abound in the word of the Lord. Steadfast. Unmovable. Like a tree planted by the still waters. May we stay planted, God. With our roots in you, oh great God. Drinking from the well that never runs dry. We can always go back to the well. When life gets hard, help us to remember to go back to the well, God. To come back to you, oh great God. When that thing starts rising up in us, it's just letting us know that we thirsty. And we haven't had a drink from the well. One drink a day won't do, my Lord. The natural body is supposed to have eight, eight um, glasses of water a day. How much should the spirit drink? Jesus. Help us, God. Purify us tonight, God. Purify our hands, our actions, our thoughts, God. Lord, we bless you. We call you holy. King of kings. Whew. We give you permission to make a testimony out of our life, God. We don't want the platform, Lord. We want your will to be done in and through us, God. My God. We thank you, Lord, that you take us through the wilderness. You anointed us, God, but you send us back to the pasture. Woo, Jesus. That's your name, God. Yes, God. Just when we got anointed, just when we, we thought that thing was about to be, Lord, wait a minute, why am I right back here? Yes. Why am I, why is this done that hard? Wait a minute, I thought this was up from here. Come on. It's done got hard, God. Yes. He sent us back to the pasture. Come on. God, I thank you for the pasture. Thank you, Jesus. We always thank you for the promotion, but God, tonight we thank you for the pasture yes. because it's building us. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. We don't even have the, the, the endurance for the next level that you want to take us to. We're so easy to tap out. Yes, God. One thing come our way and we blown off course. We retreat. Give us strength tonight. Ooh, give us strength tonight, God, for the journey. God, we bless you. We honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. 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 You know, I um, was listening to a sermon this week, and it blessed me so good. The man of God, he said, the Lord told him, I'm getting ready to bless my people. He said, I'm going to bless blessing with houses. I'm going to bless them with cars. I'm about to bless them with wives. I'm about to bless them with all of the things, the desires of their heart. He said, and I just started running around the church saying, woo, bless God. He said, I was just all in, like, woo. He said, the Lord said, wait a minute. It's only the smoke them out. Mm, my God. He said, it's only the smoke them Come out. Come on. It's only to show that they never wanted me. Come on. They wanted what I could give them. Woo. Jesus. They didn't want me. The houses, the cars, the husbands, the wives. They didn't want my will. My God. They wanted what I could give them. Jesus. Come on. Woo. My Lord. The word of the Lord is 
for him. Amen. 